this uh, video looks at stock taking the first thing is you need to be using Chrome if you don't have Chrome just Google Chrome or google.com forward slash Chrome and download and install it stock take section of systems under stock and then there's stock take and stock difference that's the first step is to go to the stock difference list and clear anything that you've scanned before and you check that by selecting the blank which selects all categories and we see we've got two things sitting here so we need to clear this before we start a new one. Next step is to go to stock take and load all stock. Now this is a scanner that's built into the browser that saves every ISBN and then as you scan them it will tell you. Let's test. Now one thing about the scanner is it's it's case sensitive so we will test in here and it finds this one. So if you're typing in non-numeric codes, alpha codes, alphanumeric codes, you need to get the case right. So I just click that to remove the one I don't want. Now it's expected 906, I've scanned one, so there's a difference of 905. I need to go looking for those 905. Now just realize that every computer you're doing this on loads the same number of ISBNs. So if you're scanning the same things on two different computers, this is really just an indication more than you know, the exact situation you can scan things in by scanning them Give them a minute. or you can put them in by putting the quantity you've got a large number so let's say I've found another few, 100 of these I want to scan something 100 times it's very painful so now we're up to 101 scan and a difference here now to actually just scan something get the scanner something like that and the scanner actually saves this as you go so even if the browser crashes here so we completely close this and go back to the back office here stock stock take again it doesn't show you it here but if we submit this okay submit it successfully then go to the stock difference list you see the one 805 here difference is sitting here once we select all categories. Now, normally you just go along your shell scanning you no know, 10 or 20 items in here or a small section where you know where you are and then at the end submit. So every 10 or 20 items you click submit is kind of like saving it, although this does save what you do as you're going, but you don't want to let it build up too much. Now if you get an item that's unknown, uh, for example, Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, and enter that. It comes up red. Now before you get go too far, you might want to just check that that item is in your stock. Now things will show red if it's expected um, zero or they're not in stock at all. Now you, if something's not in stock at all, you really want to put it in before you go further forward. So I'll take a copy of that, put it in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No results. So that doesn't actually exist. So before I go on with this, I really want to go to load stock, open up in a new tab, and you can just keep it going beside your stock take scanner here. Put that new ISBN in. Copy and paste. Oops. Oh, that's right, changed. Macintosh to PC, it's different. The search. So then I would load the publish of the title, etc., and then click add to site. The price is the cost of that item, add to site. And then once that's done, go back and carry on. Now it's okay that these are red as long as you've scanned the right code and check that and that the book is actually in the system. Um, if you click submit they'll still get put in. At the end you want to check your differences. Here's the item I added and make any corrections here. The way it works is think of it adding the difference to the expected. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 906 minus 805 equals 101 etc. To make it slightly easier you can do it category by category. So just look at the differences in biography while there's none. And it, but at the very end you must make sure there's no differences by selecting all and then submit.